Hello everybody and once again welcome to Ubuntu for Beginners video course by Teclera. Now in this video tutorial we will be covering chapter 2 part 2. Here we will see the Ubuntu file manager and how to customize your desktop. Browsing files in your computer. There are two ways to locate files on your computer. Search them or access them directly from the directory or you can search them using the dash which is this Ubuntu icon or using the file manager which is below the dash. File manager gives you access to commonly used directories such as documents, music, downloads, desktop as well as the most recently accessed files. Your home directory by default the file manager opens up in your home directory. The home directory is used to store all your personal files rather than system files such as applications. When opening your personal directory, you will see a collection of several directories, including the desktop, which contains all the files that are visible on the desktop, documents, download files, music, pictures, videos. You can add more files and directories if you need to your home directory. Just as the Microsoft Windows has the Windows Explorer, and Apple OS X has Finder to browse files and directory Ubuntu uses file manager by default. When you select the file shortcut in the launcher, click on a directory in the dash or double click a directory on the desktop, Ubuntu will open it in the file manager. The default window contains the features such as your menu bar which is on the top left hand side, the title bar which contains the name of the currently selected directory. If I open it to downloads, you can see here it is the title bar. If I go move my cursor up, I can see the menu bar. The title bar also shows the name and also you can close, minimize and maximize your window from here. Now there is one more thing. You have a toolbar. The toolbar displays your directory browsing history. So previous directory was home now I am in downloads so this shows your browse directory browsing history using two arrow buttons you can go forward and backward just like you would go in your web browser and you have a search button on the toolbar and you can change the view to list or grid so if I'm home I can choose change it to list view or grid view by default it's in the grid view the left plane of the file browser this left plane of the file browser has shortcuts to commonly used directories the right plane shows the files and directories within the directory you're currently browsing creating new directories you can simply go right click and click on new folder to create directories This is the same way like Windows or Apple or if you want to create hidden directories, click on new folder and start your file name with dot. So I'll give it as test. So I see it. It is hidden now. Now you can view your hidden files and folders by going to the menu bar and clicking on view and selecting show hidden files. So dot test is the hidden file. Just you need to append a dot in front of your name, whichever you want to give for your hidden directory and it will be hidden. And you can go to the view and you can show or unshow your hidden files. So copying and moving directory is pretty much simple. You can either use Ctrl X to cut it, Ctrl C to copy, and Ctrl V to paste. It's similar like you have it in Windows. Now this is all was related to the file manager. Now we'll we'll see how to customize your desktop. For customizing your desktop. You need to first go to system settings. You can access the system settings from the launcher or you can type in system settings and you can open it from the dash. 
So to customize your desktop, you need to go to appearance and the appearance here you can change your wallpaper you can go to the folder or you can click on this plus sign and go to whichever location your image is and you can change the desktop background these are the default wallpapers which comes with the open to now below you can change the theme and you can also change the size of the icons you can minimize it you can maximize it in the behavior section you can enable your workspaces and you can auto hide your launcher if i select auto hide it will automatically hide and if i turn it off your launcher will come so this is how you can change the customize your desktop now one more important thing is session options now session options there are pretty much like three to four session options one is the logout logging out will leave the computer running but return to desktop login scene so if i log out it will go to my login screen once again and once again i need to log in back the second option is suspend to save energy you can put your computer into suspend mode which will save the current open applications to internal memory ram and it will close all the internal hardware to reboot you need to go to shutdown and select option restart and to completely shut down you need to select shutdown and you can click power off or the shutdown button so this finishes our chapter one we have covered file manager and desktop customization and one more important thing which i want to show is show you is the keyboard shortcuts so you can go to the dash and type keyboard and here you can select the shortcuts so you can see all the shortcuts which are related to launches navigation screenshots sound media system typing access windows so you can go ahead and you can learn some pretty commonly used shortcuts if you want from the dash and you can also go to ubuntu help so this is your help guide the ubuntu desktop guide if you want you can go to the sections and you can search for the help whichever you're required so this finishes a chapter one Ch sorry the chapter 2 or oh, in the next video we will be looking in to the chapter number 3 working with the ubuntu i hope this has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you for viewing